What's up guys, Willie here. It's yet another amazing day. And let me tell you guys, last week happened to be Samsung Unpacked. And while yes, we got to see Samsung's might yet showcased again when they launched their new line of foldables, their new line of wearables, and it was an amazing event. You know, uh, one of the things that happens is you get a you get tips and bits and pieces here and there leading towards unpacked, especially because Samsung devices are very much loved. So leaks begin to happen and you know you're always up on the edge to get to see are these leaks gonna be true? Are they gonna happen? And well, Samsung put an end to that using the unpacked event. This is their second unpacked event, and uh, you know. Previously, it used to be the event where people would look forward to the Note line, but now it becomes the event where people get to look out forward to the Z uh, Fold line, the Z Flip line, you know, they are foldables. And yes, they got to launch their sixth generation of the, of the Z Fold, uh, you know, and the Z Flip. And, you know, uh, we, we also got to witness the launch of the Samsung Galaxy Ring, uh, the Samsung Galaxy Buds, and the Samsung Galaxy Watch Ultra for the very first time and the Watch 7 series. So this was quite the packed event and indeed it was unpacked. But one of the highlights of the show was the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Let me tell you, this was something I personally was looking out for. I've happened to use at least three of the of the foldables from Samsung, that was the Z Fold 2, the Z Fold 4, and 5. And let me tell you, you know, they are showstopper. They are something that will get heads turning. But above all, they are a phone statement, or they are phones that make a statement. And this time around, I got to experience the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Now, I happen to have used the Z Fold 5 for a while as my primary device. I later changed to uh, the S24 because, you know, I was back to that boxy design. I went back to the Samsung S24 Ultra 1 because of the new AI features that I really wanted to test out. And, uh, you know, I love the box profile, the boxy profile that's behind the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. So when I got to see the design, the profile for the uh, Z Fold 6, I was sold. I was sold. Immediately, you pick up this phone, especially if you've used uh, the Z Fold for a while, you can get to immediately pick up those uh, improvements. They are, you know, small improvements that have made quite a tremendous effect. One, immediately the phone, uh, you know, ditches uh, the curved, uh, the, the more curved, it, it, the Z Fold um, previously leaned towards the more curved profile. Now it has a more boxier profile, which for me looks a bit much more premium. It borrows from the boxiness of the S24 Ultra, so it looks very premium for me. And, you know, the other thing is that you can notice that the phone is slimmer and, you know, lighter. And it looks for me much more elegant. Uh, the official number stats are, you know, when it's unfolded, uh, it was 6.1 millimeters. Now it's down all the way to 5.6 millimeters. You know, there's a new hinge design that for the first time actually now gets to give this phone an IP rating. The previous Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 was an IPX8. This one is an IP48, which means at least it now has dust resistance because of the new updated hinge and the other thing that you can notice immediately is that the hinge has a bit receded which makes the phone look much more premium it makes it uh, you know it makes the phone look much more compact and much more you know i am falling in love with this phone even as i continue to look at it the, camera array at the back uh, gets a new updated uh, design it's still the same cameras but ideally it's still the same uh, you know it, it changes the design of the camera bump which ideally would still uh, topple but when you use a case you don't get to experience that so the phone 
my first impressions are, is especially when I looked at the phone, one was, this is something I would really love to use. One, because of the boxy profile. Two, because, you know, it's slimmer. And the outer screen um, moves from, uh, you know, 6.2 to 6.3. Uh, you know, it's a minimal improvement, but it is something that will be much welcome, especially to the people who use the phone more folded than unfolded. So the fact that you have a slightly uh, t uh, um, wider or taller display makes it, you know, gives it that nice uh, aesthetic from 6.2 goes all the way to 6.3. Uh, internally, there's not uh, much change in terms of the display size but i like the bezel and how uh, it goes around to protect the screen this bezel is actually what protects the screen it's much more thinner much more um, premium feeling uh, the crease has visibly uh, gone down from what we had on the z fold 5 it's not yet completely out you can still uh, see it but at least it's it's improving it's becoming better and better and better even as we uh, go forward. As I said, moves from five, uh, 6 one millimeters uh, to 5.6, which actually now uh, makes it 11.2 when folded. So the phone looks much more premium. There's no more gap when it's folded. So the phone does give you that premium aesthetic and one of the things that uh, one of the other visible changes or rather it's not visible but it's actually uh, experienceable is the fact that we now have the Sam uh, the snapdragon gen 8 gen 3 for samsung inside here gives it a, a much more faster chipset and it now empowers all these new ai features that you get all the ai features that were in the Samsung Galaxy S24 lineup. All of them circled to search, you know, live translate for calls, uh, summarizing notes and all those things. All of them are or, or come packed in One UI 6.1.1 on this. But apart from that, they also got to introduce new AI features like uh, uh, because of the fact that this has a uh, S Pen support on the inside screen. Whatever you draw, you can animate it. You can bring it to life. So text to uh, or rather image, drawing to image. And you can also draw on an existing uh, photo. And through AI, it's able to uh, interpret what you've drawn and it's able to translate it into an image. So it comes with amazing AI features that we will test out. But right off the box, this phone looks amazing. It comes in three color options, which are all available here in the Kenyan market. You have the silver shadow, which borrows a lot from the S24 uh, titanium look. Uh, you also have the navy and for the very first time, pink. Yes, I said pink. And uh, just when we thought Samsung couldn't be a bit extra, they also have this amazing pink case so you know who this is targeted to and uh so you know for the for a very long time it's looked like the z fold is for men and the z flip looks like for it's for women but more women by the day you know are coming to love this amazing profile so they also g give you or you can get uh you know they have the s pen case they have this kind suitcase which is uh, more th leathery they have the silicone case um and I think they have another one. Uh, all of them are available. You can buy them off the box. But if you pre-order, because we are still in the pre-order period here in the Kenyan market, they get to give you a free S Pen case. So depending on the color again, you can accessorize your phone to make it look like you. If you buy the pink one, you can buy the pink case. That's if you're a lady. You can buy, uh, it comes in many other colors. There's the black, and there's the navy. Uh, so they have the S Pen. For those who want to use the S Pen, they have the kind suit. For those who want more of a leathery feel, and they have the silicone case, which has a kickstand, and, you know, that thing for sliding your hand. I've forgotten what it's called. So all of this uh, come ready. Uh, you can walk into any uh, Samsung store, especially after the pre-order period, and get whatever case you want. But the phone itself gives you that premium 
boss lady or boss man moves and, and feeling. And this is something that, you know, has re-sparked my interest in the Z Fold line. Ideally, right now, in the pre-order period, it goes for about 265, which is, um, you know, which actually comes quite well priced because last year the Z Fold 5 launched for a whooping 315,000. So at least it's much more affordable right now and you can go ahead and order for yourself. So I'm, I'm pretty interested to get to experience the Z Fold 6 for myself, especially because it's a phone I've been looking forward to. So tell us in the comment section what you would like us to talk about when it comes to the Z Fold 6 series uh, and we will bring it to you live from Tekken. So it's a wrap from us guys here in the studio. Peace out.